In today's video, we will learn how to get JSON with our ESP32 using Wi-Fi and the internet, and that's coming up right after the intro. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. Today we will be learning how to get JSON from let's say an API endpoint. After we have received our JSON, we will, we will also have to deserialize our JSON so that we can actually do something with the received data. For this video, I'll assume you have watched my video on how to connect to your router through using Wi-Fi. Otherwise, the link will be in the upper right corner on screen now or the link in the description down below for further instructions. Now that you have done the connecting to Wi-Fi bit, we firstly have to include two libraries before we can continue co coding. Go ahead and click on sketch and then include library and select manage libraries. Now search for Arduino JSON and install the latest version. Back to our coding. Now let's include our libraries so that we can make use out of it. After that we can go to our void loop. Let's just add in a delay of 10 seconds after our if else statement. Otherwise our JSON will be reading out too fast for us to check. Now let's delete this part. And after this we can add in a variable of long within our if statement. The variable will hold a random number between 0 and 10. Now we can define our HTTP client like so. And let's quickly specify our URL and make the request. And let's place this into an integer called HTTP code. However, the HTTP code will not contain our JSON yet. It contains our status code, which we'll need to know whether the get request succeeded or not. The URL we defined as well will be giving us one comment, which we can find by giving in an ID as a parameter. That's where the random number is used for. Now let's create an if statement, checking whether our status code is greater than zero or not and otherwise we print out that an error has occurred. Now inside the if statement we can get our JSON in string format and let's place this in a string called payload. Now let's print out our status code with an enter in front of it and the payload. Now let's run this quickly and wait for our ESP32 to connect to our router. And as you can see we have a status code of 200 which stands for succeeded. And next to that we have received some JSON but before we can access all of that data we have to deserialize it. In order to do that, we have to do some modification to our string. I will not be explaining all of this, but if you want to get the full explanation of all of the written code in today's video, then you can head over to my Patreon page or the post of this video. Link will be in the description down below. Next, we can deserialize our JSON and place it within a static JSON document so that we can easily access it. Now that this is in a static JSON document, let's access this and get the values from ID and email and let's put these in a fitting variable. Make sure you use the correct value as the ID field in the JSON from earlier on does not contain any paraphrases so needs to be placed into an integer for example. And now let's quickly print out our ID and email and let's put an enter behind that too like so. And to finish off, let's end our client connection. Now if we run this again, and after our ESP32 is connected to our router, we'll see that our values ID and email will be displayed, so this means that those are now accessible for us to use in our IoT applications. So let's imagine our ID was for a LED or bulb, and the value email was used to turn the bulb on or off, then we would be able to turn on and off our light bulb uh, through the internet. If you don't have an ESP32 yet, or you would like one extra, then I'm happy to let you know that I will be giving away a new one. To take part, check out the link in the upper right corner now or the link in the description. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.